Hi there. Today we're looking at Revelation chapter 2. Actually, we just started chapter 3. Um, Jesus' letter to the church in Laodicea. It says this, To the angel of the church in Laodicea write, These are the words of the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the ruler of God's creation. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither cold or hot, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say, I am rich. I have acquired wealth and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire so you can become rich and white clothes to wear so that you can cover your shameful nakedness and salve to put on your eyes so you can see. Jesus is speaking to those who have materialistic wealth and yet they are spiritually poor. If you're going to have one or the other, it's far better to be materialistically poor and spiritually wealthy than to be wealthy in the eyes of the world, but to be spiritually poor. It's a huge temptation for us because a lot of us have everything we need. We have the food that we need. We have a nice warm house to live in. We have um, a car we need to get to our job, our job provides all the things that our family needs, maybe even vacation and extra things. And so really, we don't need much, we're good. You know, we go to church, we don't need much else. We can worry about our entertainment and what we can get out of life and living it up and that's all. And yet God says, wow, you are on the verge of slipping into being spiritually cold. And I'm going to spit you out. And those are harsh, harsh words. Words that we should take seriously. How do we wake up spiritually? Well, first of all, the People's Bible has a, a phrase that I found really interesting. It says this. Physical comfort blunts the spiritual discomfort needed in repentance. When we're spiritually repentant, we're usually pretty uncomfortable. And that's what Jesus is asking of us. He's saying, don't get so caught up in our comforts that you forget who you are before me. On our own, uh, the best we can produce is like filthy rags before Jesus. So we have to get to that spiritually poor place where we are going to the Lord and saying, we know we have nothing to offer that can earn our salvation, but we come before you, Lord, and we're asking for forgiveness, not because of what we've done, but we know what your son has done for us. And I think that's just a good wake up call for us to remember in our comfort, in our luxury, don't depend on that. That is not where your hope rests. Your rest and your hope and your spiritual riches all come from the Lord. And daily, we need to be going to the Lord and asking to be renewed and restored and asking Him to give us a pure heart, a heart that's repentant, a heart that's looking to Him for life instead of finding comfort and ease in our wealth. Something to think about. God bless your day.